Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we are going out for another wolf hunt today and we've got this little pack of wolves right here that we are going to start off with so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down and see if we can get these guys to attack because I have decided to bring along a couple guns that we haven't used on them yet we have the 10 gauge with buckshot and then I'm also bringing along the 20 gauge with slugs so We'll see how these do on them. It's going to be interesting because I'm not sure how buckshot is going to work with wolves and I haven't used the 20 gauge on them either and it's kind of a little lower caliber. So I guess we'll see. We'll see how things go. Sounds like we do have them attacking us though so that's good. Uh, what do we got here? We got a six. Okay, let's start out with the buckshot. Let's see how this does. Okay, so it'll kill them, it's just not super quick. But if you put two in them, it should be alright. Okay, yep, 20 gauge slug, much better already. I'm actually liking that. So, it just seems like slugs in general are absolutely crazy on these wolves because as you guys remember in the last call the wild video that we did we used the 12 gauge slugs on the wolves and it looks like the 20 gauge slugs are just as good so that's really cool to know uh the 10 gauge buckshot it killed it but just not very quickly and obviously if you're being attacked by wolves you want them to go down as quick as possible so that's definitely going to be a problem so we're probably going to use the 20 gauge mainly now I still really want to get either an egg white, an albino, or a melanistic wolf. We got ourselves a red brown in the last time that we were here, but I really want to get an egg white one. They're one of my favorite fur variations and I don't have one in our current lodge so it would be really cool if we could get one, but we'll see how things go. Alright, so we got some more wolves right here. We got a six, a four, there's another six, a six, and a two. So it looks like the highest level ones are these level sixes. We're gonna try and get them to attack. Uh, I'm not sure if they will since the highest level is a six, but then again, in the last video that we did on the gray wolves, we did have a pack with a level six as the highest attack us. So I really don't know what factors into whether they attack or not. Cause I could have swore that when Yukon first released, everybody said that there needed to be like a 7 or an 8 or a 9 in the pack in order for them to attack you, but I don't know. That doesn't seem to be the case. I also wanted to just real quickly say that there is a chance that by the time this video goes live, I might not have internet because we just ended up getting uh, into a new place. So we're going to be moving for the next few days and I really don't know when we'll be able to get internet going. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long, but just in case, I will be getting videos ready for the next few days, so... Oh, we gotta take these out. Oh, wow, that... That hit it hard. I don't think that was vitals, but that thing hit it so hard. Alright, so... As I was saying, I'm gonna prepare videos for the next probably four or five days and hopefully well I as I'm recording this four or five days but by the time this video goes live it'll probably be like the next two or three days so I mean you guys get what I'm saying I'll have videos prepared just in case I'm not able to get internet anytime soon but we'll try to get it up quickly hopefully everything goes smoothly but just figured I'd let you guys know that so that if for some reason you don't hear from me for a couple days that's why Alright, so we did get a vital organ hit on one of these, which I kind of expected that. One of them looked dead on, the others were questionable. I'm not sure which one we nailed though, I think it might have been one of the level 6s. Let's go ahead and, well I guess there's no track for us to pick up close, so we'll just pick this guy up and see what it is. So this was the 4. Oh wow, this is actually the one that was running. So we did single lung it. Good to know, which that means that there should be at least one more that we nailed. Uh, although looking at this hunting pressure, maybe we didn't hit the other one good. So we probably should just move on. I don't think we killed any others. Alright, so I decided to switch to their drink time. 
Uh, the only reason I wasn't hunting it before is because it is at night, but I was having absolutely no luck running around finding them, so I figured we'd switch it to nighttime and actually try to hunt their drink times, and we just got a call from a female over here, so let's go see if we can get a look at these guys. Unfortunately, as always, we have bad wind, so <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's going to work out that well, but maybe we'll at least get them to attack us and that would kind of, kind of be better, I guess. <laughs> well, as I expected, it appears that the wind did ruin everything, so yeah, that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. We will find some more wolves. Alright guys, well we spooked off some wolves, that's not how I was wanting to find them, but we'll try to take out this guy. And I just saw another one cross in front. Well, we got one of them hit. Let's see if maybe we can catch up with the rest and get a look at the other ones. I didn't expect them to be on this close shore, so that's a little unfortunate, but we shouldn't have any issues catching up to them. And we actually have more wolves over here, so that's good too. Uh, it doesn't look like anything is too crazy high level or anything, but good to know there's some more wolves for when we come back to this lake. All right, well, that was not a good shot, apparently, because we're pretty far away now, but as you can see, it did eventually die, which is to be expected with a 30-odd six round, but still kind of sad we didn't hit it good because I had to track really far away now, and ooh, it was thoracic vertebrae. That explains it. So, yeah, it's definitely unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, for some reason, these wolves are traveling again. That's a little strange. I don't see any reason why they should be traveling, but we got a fox that spooked off from them, but I think we need to try and get a little bit closer. I really want to try and get them to attack us. That's pretty much my goal with all these packs, is to get them to attack us so we can actually use the shotgun on them, but we'll be prepared just in case they don't attack. I'll have the gun ready, and hopefully they won't dart off before we even get a chance to take a shot. This pack does seem to be a little larger, so I'd say there's a decent chance that they will attack. At least we can hope that. Oh, yep, they're going aggressive. Okay, so that's perfect. Now is another chance to use the 20 gauge on these guys. So let's go ahead and zero it to 50 and wait for the attack. This guy's coming in aggressive. Let's see if we can get a side angle on him. Nope. I guess we'll just do that. It's not going to get full score, but it's just a seven anyway. Definitely liking the slugs. They're doing pretty good. About the same as the 12 gauge ones, like I was saying. Not bad at all, there's just one left. Ah, uh, that one should die eventually. <laughs> uh, obviously that wasn't an ideal shot, I'm pretty sure I just hit the skull, but... Not too bad. Definitely does the trick. And this is the 7, yeah. So it would have been 37 scoring, but we ended up brain shouting it. There's a level 3 female, another brain shot. There is a level 5. This one was double lung. Dropped it in its tracks. This one is a level 2. We hit lower neck. Okay. Not too bad. Didn't expect that to be a neck shot, honestly. And this one right here is a double lung on a level 4 female. And then this last one, well, hopefully it dies. I think it should. It's at bleed medium bleed rate, so it shouldn't have gone too far, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it didn't go too far at all. We're just a little ways away from where we shot it. Here he is. And we hit skull jaw, flesh, pelvis, and lumbar vertebrae. So, absolutely butchered this guy. But just a level 6 male, so nothing special about that one. But I'm really liking the way the 20 gauge feels against these wolves. I still think the 12 gauge is probably better, as you would expect. So, I don't know if I'll be using the 20 gauge too much on the wolves, but it's definitely fun, and it is pretty effective, so that's good. 
All right, so we got a wolf down here on this shoreline. It looks like it's the only one, so I'm probably just going to take it with the rifle. So let's just go ahead and get our 30-06 M1 out and see if we can get this guy. I think it's like 200 meters away if I remember. Oh, maybe a little bit more than 200. Uh, 282. All right, so maybe going to be a harder shot than I thought with this particular scope, but... We'll try it. And it doesn't look like we hit vitals, unfortunately, but we'll see what we can do. I might try putting on the other scope. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be much easier. Much easier than using that terrible 4x zoom on the night vision scope. Yeah, this guy's not looking too good, so we probably will need to put another shot in it. And, oh, I'm not sure what it's doing there, but, uh, yeah, that happened. Ah, ran out of breath right as I'm trying to shoot it. I don't know if we saved it. I don't think we did. I mean, either way, it's just a level 7, but still, would have been nice to get full score. Okay, so we actually have another wolf over at this corner drinking. So let's get a shot on this. This will be a lot easier to hit. And yep, that was a vital hit. So that one should go down with no issues at all. Oh, we actually got a bunch of wolves over here. Okay, so this lake has so many drink zones and that's a mythical. All right, well, here's the wolf that we absolutely butchered. Uh, yeah, we had vertebrae both times, so that's a little unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. We will try to get these ones that are over here, wherever they went, but let's go ahead and go grab that one that we killed first. All right, so here's that one that we took out over here, a common level five, just a silver, but we did perfectly double lung it, so that's awesome. Now we're probably going to loop around this side of the lake until we get over here, and then we should be able to see those wolves because they are like on the tip of this little piece of land right here, so it shouldn't be too Alright, so, uh, yeah, my recording cut out because I didn't have enough disk space on my secondary hard drive that I keep all my video footage on. I had forgot to delete a bunch of footage from previous videos, so, yeah, I think we're good now, and I'm not really sure how much it didn't record when I was talking, so, Basically, what we're doing here is looping around this right side. That way we can get a better angle on these wolves right here. And we do have this mythical that we for sure have to take out. And then I'm not sure what else is here. I know there's a level 4 and a level 7, I believe. Yeah, there's the 7, but the mythical is the one that we're going to try and take out. And I think we can do it from right here. And we should be fine. Although they are kind of getting in the way. It might be better to try and get them to attack us, I think, because I don't really feel comfortable at this angle, especially with them running in front of each other like that, but with the level 8 in the pack, they should attack. Okay, so we actually do have some other wolves that are traveling, so maybe we can get two packs to go after us. That would actually be pretty awesome if we could. It would make for some interesting uh, times, for sure. Gotta get ready just in case. Yep, it's fleeing. Think we got the eight down? Yeah, we did. Awesome. So we got the eight. And maybe the seven too. I really didn't expect them to flee with a level eight in the pack, but I mean, I guess I don't know as much as I thought I did about what causes them to attack. Oh, ooh, ooh, is that what I'm after? That's either an egg white or an albino. So, we have to make sure we get that down. It's probably an egg white, most likely. I gotta make sure that it's not behind anything and... Okay, so it is in the front. That's good. We should be able to get it from here. I think that should be good. Get that down too, and yep, it's down. 
That does look like it's an egg white. I'm pretty sure that's egg white, and if so, this is exactly what I was hoping to find these past couple videos that we've been going after the wolves. So, if we did find it, that is awesome. It's sure looking like it's an egg white. It's definitely looking like it is. I don't think that's albino. Doesn't seem albino to me. There it is. And yeah, that is most definitely an egg white. That's awesome. I can't really get a picture of it, sadly, but there we go. A gold egg white wolf. 37.40. Let's tax that. We will toss it on our wall. Absolutely awesome. I'm super happy with that. Then right here is that level 3 that we just shot. And the level 8 should be somewhere over here. I don't think it will have ran that far, so hopefully we can go ahead and claim it relatively fast. Alright, yeah, here is the level 8. It definitely didn't run far at all, so that's nice. And it is a 38 exactly, so about an average level 8. Not too bad though, we got an egg white and our biggest wolf of the day in roughly the same area. So, not too bad. I think I'll definitely hunt their drink time a little bit more. It seems to be way easier than running around during the daytime, just hoping that you get attacked. This definitely seems to be a better way to do it, so you guys might see some more nighttime wolf hunting videos in the near future. Alright, so we are now here in the lodge, and I uh, did forget to switch the time. I mean, we can still switch it from in here, but let's just leave it like this. It does add kind of a nice little, uh, nice little effect to it. So let's go ahead and get a good pose. I think that's probably going to be... I like that. That looks good. So that's pretty cool. We have our level 7 red-brown right here and our level 7 egg-white. Nice. I am very happy with that. Now, let's try to find a plaque to put this uh, Iberian wolf that I just picked up. Oh, this should work. Should be fine right there. Nice. That is awesome. We finally got ourselves an egg white wolf. It's been a long, long time since I've seen my last one. So that's pretty sweet. And the 20 gauge shotgun, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. It actually takes down the wolves pretty well for the most part. It's not nearly as good as the 12 gauge slugs, but definitely still usable. But 10 gauge buckshot, I wouldn't even bother with that when it comes to wolves. It's just not nearly as effective. Alright everybody, I think that's going to be the end of the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe because I do post daily The Hunter videos. And I try to do at least five live streams every week, so if you guys don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on a ton of content. But, with that being said, hope everybody had a fantastic day. And peace! If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.